Well, you know, it is a tough one. I mean, I don't know if we've ever seen anything like this. I mean, here's a guy that you're asking to be the leader of your team. You're asking him to go out and lead guys. And even though he hasn't played well, I think he's led by going out there and taking some of the beating and going out there game after game trying to get it right. But now there's all this speculation off the field about him or in the locker room. Now, to me, this undermines your leadership role. How, how do I lead my guys when you don't even let me go out on the field and go to battle with them? And, and that's kind of my question for you guys is, as teammates. How do you look at this when you know somebody comes in and says, well, our quarterback's really important to us for the offseason. We're going to pull him out for the last three games. But the rest of you guys, you got to go out and continue to battle, even though you might be banged up just like him. This is so wrong in so many ways, what Mike Shanahan is doing. And, and, and understand this. Um, there's some other people that you can pull. Uh, your offensive line, those line. hits. Why aren't you benching any of those guys? The whole let's, just, let's just talk about the play caller. Why, why hasn't he had the plays taken away from him or the ability to call the plays? There's so many fingers to be pointed. But when you start with the one guy that's dynamic, that's your leader, that's the face of your franchise, you are, it's a power play. That's what it began. It begins a power play. I guarantee you this would not have happened here with John Elway. There was no no way, no how he would have pulled John Elway and said, we want to arrest John. You know, we don't want to get him hurt. Well, let's throw a couple things out there and let the people take a pick. You could be auditioning Kirk Cousins. You need picks. You lost some picks. Say that then. You, you lost some picks. Okay. Secondly, RG3 needed a little humble pie. We all know what's happening behind the curtains. Some of his teammates on the team say he got a little bit beside himself in his fame. He may need a little humble pie. No one's saying nothing about this defense who is horrible. Let's not put all this stuff on Cal Shanahan or RG3 or the special team. This defense giving up 31 a game. I got to get 32 just to stay in the game. Let's get that straight. All of us in some form or fashion during our career, we're humbled at some point. Either it comes early or it comes late. He get his now, and I'm sure he's going to bounce back. I don't think Mike Shanahan would be so vindictive and indicative to take this out on his kid just to prove a point. You know, I've, I've always spoke highly and thought highly of Mike Shanahan. Check the tapes. Go back as far as you want. But I'm so disappointed with what I'm seeing. This is absolutely See, this is personal, and I don't care what you say, and there's no way, no way you sit your quarterback, RG3, in his second season where we already, we all know that Cam Newton went through a second season that wasn't quite what it is, but look at what Cam's doing now. We, we, it, it is amazing to me, and here's something nobody's talking about. This is the third person that Mike Shanahan has had an issue with that was a star player for the Washington Redskins. I understand coaches come in and they want to grab control, and they usually go after a star player to get control. He went Donovan, Albert Hainsworth, say what you will, say what you will, and now RG3. RG3 is handling it best he can. Donovan said something like this was going to go down. So I'm not giving Mike Shanahan a pass when somebody predicted what's happening right now to this young man. You are tearing him down. I doubt that any man can come back from this, walking around three weeks around these guys that you have to leave. And I don't want to hear about teammates either time. I understand that. We understand as teammates and players, quarterbacks do get special treatment. You don't see people arguing when Peyton Manning gets it or Tom Brady gets it. I don't want you arguing when, when this kid gets it. He's the quarterback, and the rest of us brothers have to understand that and treat him as such. I got an issue with all of them. Peyton Manning and Tom Brady won a Super Bowl. Yeah, and, and you got to give that, this that, kid, he's only in his second different. year, time to get there and uh, win a Super Bowl. Not, and I will never do it with we're this. We're not saying that the guy is wrong. We're saying that RG3 hadn't been playing well. Maybe he needed to take a step back. I'm not saying Shanahan is right. It could be a multiplicity of reasons. We're not behind the curtain. We don't know what all has transpired. You think they could do this to Andrew Luck? Let me ask and you that. The, the one you thing think about they could it, do this to Luck? The, Give me a yes the, or no. the, the one thing about no. it is this. If it's based on no. play, I don't you, have a, you have a lot of teammates if, if would this ever is, come out against him either. If this is based on play, and you know what? I'm, I mean, if this was based on play, then guess what? You got a lot of other players you should be replacing as well. The whole defense. And, 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 and guess, you, you want to know why nobody won't say this about Andrew Luck? Because the organization would get rid of that somebody. Right. When, and, and I right. was talking about this when we started oh. in Atlanta with the leaks about, about stuff with this guy. I've been on, listen, we all know have. stuff about quarterbacks. 
people know stuff about all star players, players and it doesn't leave the locker room. All and if it does, that person leaves the locker room who let that out. Well, it's definitely a new one. Uh, nobody's ever heard of somebody, certainly in their second Seven season, games, for whom that they traded two first-round picks, benched with regular season time, still left.